Finally, this Russian sexual harassment story that I find amazing and the most interesting story of the day. So here it is. Okay, let's do it. Uh, a young woman, uh, 22 years old in St. Petersburg, has sued uh, her employer for sexual harassment. Uh, she was trying to become the third person ever in Russia to win a sexual harassment case. You understand that? Only two women in the entire history of Russia have ever won sexual harassment that's cases. That's ridiculous. Okay. If you think that's ridiculous, wait till you get a load of the other numbers. And wait till you get a load of what happened in the case. You know what happened? The judge threw the case out, dismissed it. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So oh, you say, well, all right, she's wrong on the facts. What can you do, right? No, the judge said she's right on the facts. She was sexually harassed. But, here, here's the quote. But, quote, if we had no sexual harassment, we would have no children. No way. Swear to God. No way. It's in the Telegraph in London. Absolutely, positively true. London media are shysty, though. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's kind of. I isn't that amazing? The judge is like, well, of course you got sexually harassed. What? You went to work. What, what else would you? How what else would you? What did he do exactly? What did his employer do to her? Uh, he, she says, quote, he always demanded the female workers signal to him with their eyes that they desperately wanted to be laid on the boardroom table as soon as he gave the word. Oh I didn't realize at first that he wasn't speaking metaphorically. Okay? And the judge goes, oh, you're right, but you should have done it, because how else would we have children? Okay, but if you think that's a bad way, I haven't even gotten to the amazing part of the story yet. Okay, that's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. But wait till you get a load of this. According to a recent survey, 100% of female professionals in Russia say they've been subjected to sexual harassment by their male bosses. 100%. 32% said they had intercourse with them at least once with their bosses. Oh, wow. Another 7% claimed to have been raped at work. And all that is unbelievable. Here comes one more. 80% of those who participated in the survey said they did not believe it possible to win promotion without engaging in sexual relations with their male superiors. 80% of the women who work in the professional workforce in Russia say they cannot get a promotion unless they sleep with a boss. 100% of them report sexual harassment. Wow! Isn't that the most amazing thing you've ever heard? Yeah, I can't even believe that. Uh, doesn't it make you just want to go and work in Russia? No, not at all. <laughs> That's crazy. Ah, the good old days. What happened in this country? I remember the 1950s mm -hmm. and part of the 60s when we used to have a system like this. Now women actually get respected. And they can just work and, you know, work, get a promotion without sleeping with the boss. Yeah. What happened in this good old country, man? The Republicans are right. We should go back to the 1950s the way it was and the way it is in Russia now. If you want to get a promotion, lay on the table.